What's going on YouTube, Tech and Tweaks here, back again with another video. Today we're gonna to look at another five amazing tweaks that you should put on your jailbroken device. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. tweak we're going to look at is called a type receipt. Basically what this allows you to do is it will not send a read receipt until you begin typing. So for example, if someone sends you a message, you can open it and you can look at it. They will never know that you read it until you actually start typing on the keyboard to respond to them. It'll just say delivered on their end. So it's a pretty useful tweak if you want to see the message, but you don't want them to know you've seen the message. The next tweak I have for you guys is called Transparent Notif. Basically what it does is it turns all your notifications transparent. So if you look at my notifications, it looks actually pretty cool. I noticed that it shows up a lot better on darker wallpapers. You can actually read what it's saying versus on lighter wallpapers. It makes it really hard to see. So it's a cool little tweak. Not too many things to configure, just a couple options with a respring button. But I think it looks pretty cool if you're trying to theme your device in a specific way. Transparent notifications always look great. The next tweak I have for you guys is called Pullover Pro. And you'll notice that I have a little Instagram button right here. If I go ahead and slide that out, it'll open up my Instagram. So if I'm in the middle of doing something, I can go ahead and just pull this right on out and respond to a message or whatever. You can put whatever apps here that you'd like. So if I go ahead and I hold it down, it'll bring up like my most recent apps. I can go to Zebra, for example. It'll just pull up a small little window of whatever recent apps I was using. You can also set it to your favorite apps. So if you want uh, messages or something. So if I want to see what messages there were, you can go ahead and just hover over that and now I am in the messages app on my device. So it can be really useful if you know, you're know you watching a YouTube video and you don't wanna leave the app, you can just slide over, respond, and then go back to whatever it was that you're doing. Also, it is basically a little launcher too. So if I pick up and drag an application, for example, the settings app, if I drag it out, put it in this square, it'll actually launch the application. So if we go over to the settings for this tweak, you can go ahead and adjust whatever you want in here, your five recent apps, your five favorite apps. I prefer just using the recent apps just because usually within the recent apps is where I am switching back and forth to. There is a trial version, which is what I'm on right now. It gives you a three day trial version. And then after the three days, I believe it's 199. Anyways, there's a couple options to configure. You can go left-handed mode and it'll just basically switch the little pullover tab over to the other side. You can hide it in landscape. You can enable haptic feedback. It's very useful. I mean, it's nice to just be able to pop over to my messages, respond to whatever I need to do, and then jump right back into whatever application I'm using. It's a nice little multitasking tweak. So give it a three day trial. If you guys like it, go ahead and buy it. All right, the next tweak we got is called More Bar X13. Basically, this is what you're seeing up in my status bar. If you look up in the status bar, you'll see that I have notifications for mail, one YouTube, messages, and messenger basically it just gives you a cool little icon up in your status bar it pushes your status bar down so you still have your time and everything basically like on a non-notch device but i think it looks really nice so anytime i get a new notification it'll say for example if i got a new message that two would change to three if i got a fifth mail or a second youtube notification the badges would change accordingly so if we hop into the settings of this tweak, you can adjust all of these settings. 
I personally have just left them pretty much default because I feel like it does a great job when you first install the app and just start using it. However, I did make some changes to which applications will be shown on which side. So if we hop over to left notification icons, you can see that mail and YouTube, YouTube is the one that I added. So in order to get the icon there, you just do application then you select the applications. For example, I selected YouTube, and then the, I would select default icon. Then to get the actual notification count, you go to the next slot down, go ahead and select application, go ahead and select YouTube again. The only thing you're gonna change this time is icon for style is gonna be count. So now it's gonna display not only the badge, but also the count of how many notifications. Then if we go over to the right side of the screen for notifications, and I did the exact same thing over here. I just went and for example, for Messenger, I set it up with application. Go ahead, select Messenger as the application, then default icon, and then if you want the notification count, you can go ahead and select application, Messenger, and then change it from default icon to count for the fourth type. If you want to add a fifth icon, you can go ahead and select whatever app that you want. You can do application. So now if I get any notifications from Acorns, it's going to show up here on this side, but it's not going to have a counter because I did not set the counter. I just set default icon. If I put count, then it would just show a counter, but I think it looks really awesome. It is in alpha or beta. It's not fully developed yet. But as long as I've been running it on my device, it, I haven't had any issues with it. Every notification has come through and it's displayed properly up there. So go ahead and check this tweak out. Once again, it's called More Bar X13. And I think it's a really unique tweak. All right, moving on, we got Wallpaper Loader. Now this one is a really cool one. It will allow you to select different wallpapers for light and dark mode. So for example, I am currently in dark mode, but if I changed over to light mode, my wallpaper would change with it. And then when it changes back to dark mode, my wallpaper changes with it also. So it's kind of like the dark papers tweak that I've showed earlier. However, this one allows you to set any wallpaper that you want as a light mode and a dark mode wallpaper. So if we go into the settings, all you would need to do is select choose a light wallpaper. You can select it from your photos, choose a dark wallpaper, select it from your photos, and then it'll automatically apply the wallpaper. And then whenever you switch between light and dark mode, it will go ahead and adjust your wallpaper accordingly. Make sure you check out my previous video on Lights Out because it will automatically adjust your light mode and dark mode based on the ambient lighting around you. All right, guys, and that's gonna be the video for today. If you guys like the video, make sure you go ahead and smack that thumbs up button. If you love the video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.